ever think in your wildest dreams that someone might want to kill you? I would have never thought that anyone would want to kill me ever in my life, ever. My dad's a sweet guy. I mean, he's very calm. He's full of laughter. He's full of energy. He's like a life of the party. My life was once beautiful, wonderful. I have three wonderful kids. I was married to a beautiful lady. Hi, guys. My name is Lulu Sosa. My business was booming. And I'm Ramon Sosa, head coach, boxing. Welcome, Welcome to Women's Boxing and Fitness. Fitness. Outside the ring, boxers, they're very loving. They want love from their fans, and they want to give it back. They're the nicest people. I was a very, very low-key kind of guy. That's the farthest thing from my mind, that somebody wanted me dead. I remember walking in one night as the gym was in its final hours before it closed. I remember a conversation was taking place about hitmen. What was it about this conversation that caught your attention? What caught my attention was whose name came up. Did they mention Ramon? Yes. Now my focus was just on talking to Ramon. I said, Mundo, you're joking around, you know, what, what's going on? Ramon was like, don't, don't play with me like that. This is some serious stuff. And then he said, I seen that look on people's eye before they want to kill somebody. It's like a screenplay, something straight out of Hollywood. And it would fit right in with every other horror flick that we've seen in the past. Except this is real. It is real. We're taking you inside the twists and turns of a complex sting operation. And here's what makes it unique. The target of the murder for hire plot becomes an undercover operative to catch the person who wants him dead. So, Lieutenant, where are we heading? We are heading to what we refer to as the dig site. This is the actual grave where I was supposed to be dead. And they had me lay down with my hands behind my back, my head turned. It was a photographer. All I could hear was just the clicking of the camera. That was somebody's choice. They told someone, this is what I want, this is how I want you to do it, and this is where I want you to put him. It's horrifying. I saw myself in the grave dead. Literally, I was supposed to be dead. I'm the only person alive that has ever walked out of his own grave. 